Painting this cabinet in my kitchen is something that I have been putting off for a very long time. Now this is a cabinet that I very rarely show, but it is in my breakfast room between the fireplace and the kitchen window. Now this would have been considered a wet bar, but the previous owners removed the sink and tiled the top, so we use it as a TV cabinet. Now originally when I had my cabinets painted, I opt to paint this piece black. At the time, a standalone cabinet or an island being painted in a different color was trending. So I painted my cabinet, my island, my mantle, as well as the trim above the mantle in black. Now this is a double-sided cabinet that you can access from the kitchen as well as the living room. Now I typically keep glassware and a few plates up top and then on the bottom I have a mixer that I never use and then I keep some placemats and chargers there as well. Now I will also be painting the hardware. I will be using a silver metallic by rust -Oleum. Now I end up not using this particular can, I used another one because it had more of a matte finish and that's what I really was after. I also will be using a paint and primer in one for the cabinetry and the color that I used was stucco and it is made by Sherwin-Williams. Now I did have it made up at Home Depot and they will definitely custom make a color for you. So all of my cabinets in the kitchen are in a glazed finish, but this particular finish will be in a solid cream with a silver handle. Now, I like to start with brushing out the corners and any hard to reach areas with a brush. I like to brush in the little grooves because it's a little harder to use a roller. And then this particular door here is stationary so I'm brushing that one in place but I will complete the job with a roller. My final coat will be a roller, probably the second and the third coat, if a third coat is necessary. But here, I really only use two coats. And I really like the way that it turned out. I think it is a very clean look and I think the silver handles is a very nice addition. It gives it a really soft look. And I think it will complement whatever I put inside, whether it's dishes or decor. So now let me share with you how I put it all back in the cabinet. So I will start out using this vinyl liner that I got from the Dollar Tree. Now many of you ask where do I keep my appliances as well as some of my decor. Well, I keep my mixer down here as well as chargers and some placemats. So guys, continue watching as I put the cabinet together, and I hope you guys enjoy seeing my little update for my kitchen. Now guys, I will be sharing the entire breakfast area with you in another video soon. I have a new addition coming to the breakfast area, and I am really excited to share it with you. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the next one.